day five of meeting Mr. Man, I think. I don't know. Um, where even is he? Mr. Man? Where the fuck? Go where are you? Ah! Oh my fucking god, bro. Alright. Are you here Welcome. to share a story? You want to hear another story? Um, sure. Sure. These, <laughs> these have been Sit some... <clears throat> Farther back, please. Alright, stop. That's good enough. Anyway, this starts off with an 18-year-old boy sleeping over at his friend's house with another friend of his. Three boys in in one house. Here it is. The boy heard of the story that he, that his friend told him before he came to his house that him and the other friend were sleeping over. And then his and then they slept right next to this wall. And then when they woke up, there were black scratches all over all over the side of the wall over here and wall over here while they were sleeping like this. With the table right Damn. next to them. Then they tell him about the story when he comes there, being kinda concerned. Because it was the same because it was the same month. Because they told told them from last year, from that month, it came to this month now, with the same day. Because he got kind of concerned. So he didn't like, think it would be the same. So like, if it was like 2023, it happened in 2022 for them, and like it's the exact same day. No. Like. No, the same month, and the same day. Oh. Yes. Anyway, don't interrupt me anymore. That, that's your final okay. strike. Anyway. As, as they also, you know, play around, hang out, play games. Then, at midnight, his friend shows, shows, shows him the picture of, of the monster. Because he was zooming in once about this thing be right next, right next to the tree, watching his house. He takes a picture of it, and then the friend gets instantly terrified for what that is. With a giant mouth, jaw open, giant beady eyes that are black, and a head that that doesn't even look like a circle. This is a circle that was bigger than a circle. It looked pretty tall too. So then, out of that, they start explaining the mystery of why these things start happening with the claws on the walls, the face looking like that. The friend gets instantly terrified while while the other two are un understanding the mystery of what this is. A few hours go by by uh, from the night, while while they're also hearing, you know, videos or whatnot. He hears noises from downstairs, wondering what that is. They're all explaining what is going on from downstairs. One of them is kind of terrified about what is happening but the other one just wants to sleep in so they start trying to explain why why he want why he should just join us so then at that they start walking down stairs having with the axe and two knives watching around seeing if there's anyone if anything or anyone is inside. So as our protagonist, as the 18-year-old boy that slept over with the with the other two, he saw from this side of the wall because there was two hallways. One went to the kitchen and one went to the living room and the kitchen. So he looks around the hall hallway where, where, the, where the living room is, but then he sees a long arm, a skinny long arm. Terrified from that, what the fuck? he thinks it's just nothing. So. Then after that, he joins the group again, joining them, looking around, nothing around. Then, takes a picture of the window. Then, a handprint, a full handprint that was on the window from from the probably the monster. So, do I know what happened next?
What happened? Let's just say it's it's more than you can believe. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Thank you for the juicy stories. Now, go to sleep. <laughs>